on this broadcast of Crossverse News. You know, in the summer of 2024, did you know it marked the 68th anniversary of Congress passing the motto and God we trust? Let's look into it and understand how it happened in history. You know, as we celebrate the 68th anniversary of Congress passing our motto, let's look at the athletes that are going to the 2024 Olympics. And while they're there, how are they going to be declaring their faith? What do they believe? Let's find out. And lastly, what's your comeback story? You know, there are countless athletes who do all the training in the world that they can for the Olympic Games. And you know what? Not all of them have come back from the, uh, well, the greatest of wins. Some have come back from losses. Some have come back from injury. So, what does that have to do with you? Stay tuned. Crossverse News starts right now. What's going on, everybody? I'm M. King, and this is a special Cross First News report in God We Trust. You know, we're going to look at U.S. news, and we want to talk about how in the summer of 2024, July 26th to be exact, marked the 68th anniversary of Congress passing the motto, In God We Trust. Well, did you know Dwight D. Eisenhower signed the resolution into law in 1956? But did you also know in 1861, the Reverend M. R. Watkinson, a Christian minister from Pennsylvania, sent a letter to the Secretary of the Treasury, Secretary of the Treasury, Salmon P. Chase, requesting God be honored on our coins? Hmm, well, did you know that when it was proposed, it was proposed by Watkinson to use the motto, God our trust. But the Secretary of the Treasury, now think about it for a moment. The Bible says you can't serve God and money. He's the Secretary of the Treasury. Treasury, of course, money. The Secretary of the Treasury, Salmon P. Chase, suggested the motto be changed to, the proposed motto be changed to, in God we trust. Amen. Isn't that something interesting? All right, guys. So, in sports, Olympic athletes celebrate their faith. You know, as we celebrate the 68th anniversary of Congress passing the motto of in God we trust, you know, we also celebrate American Olympians who are celebrating their faith as well. We're going to look at three of them. The first one we're going to look at is Kyle Schneider. Now, Kyle Schneider is a U.S. wrestler, right? He's a wrestler for uh, the U.S. Olympic team. Did you know he's the youngest wrestler to win gold? He won it in 2016 in Rio, right? Here's his quote, right? Here's his quote of faith. I used to think... How can anyone read it? The Bible, right? It's so big, and the words are so small. But I started enjoying stories from the Bible. Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever sat back and wondered, God, how can I read this book, right? It's so small, or it's this and it's that. But once you get into it, you realize God is there. It makes me think of Goliath and David. Right? Can you imagine being David and God? How can I beat this giant? This giant's so huge. All I have is this. All I have is that. But David knew he had to keep his mind on the Lord. And when he did, well, guess what? I'm not going to say he started to enjoy it, but he was able to get into the presence of the Lord and do what needed to be done. Just as Kyle Schneider was able to get into the presence of the Lord and enjoy God's word. Well, the next athlete we want to look at is Micah Christensen. He's a volleyball player for the U.S. Olympic team. And he said this, for me, I'm a Christian. I believe in God, and so I know I get a lot of freedom from my faith in God. Can you agree with that? Do you get a lot of freedom from your faith in God? You know, at the end of the day, God has come to set us free, right? 
He's, he's, he's come to, 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 to set at liberty you know, those who are, who, who are held captive, right? So at the end of the day, I, I love how he said he gets a lot of freedom from his faith in God, especially when we live in a world that is so restrained, right? They want us to be quiet. They want us to shut up. They don't want us to say anything. He still finds ways to enjoy his faith. And I honestly goodness believe that. I honestly goodness believe he enjoys his faith through the sport of volleyball. And I believe that's a light. You can be a light to people, folks, and still enjoy the regular things in life. Right? So let's see. The last one is Quanira Hayes. She's a sprinter for the U.S. Olympic team. And she had this to say. She said, I don't run for medals. I run to give glory to God. Amen. Aren't we all running that race? To give God glory. You know, my commentary, I like to look at things and I like to just let you guys know what I was thinking. And, you know, as we celebrate athletes from around the world going to the 2024 Olympic Games, there are still highs and lows that have to be contemplated. Right? You know, during the games, we've seen athletes, some have come back from uh, injuries, some have had setbacks at this Olympic Games and have to move forward to the next Olympic Games in 2028. I'm actually thinking of a sprinter who ended up, he was on the starting line and he ended up jumping, right, before the gun went off and he got disqualified. So he has to put in all the work to come back in 2028. There are people, the three athletes we looked at, for example, they all had to come back from some opposition in order to do what they've been called to do and in order to see victory, right? So, what's your comeback story? You know, it says in 1 Corinthians 9.25, Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Think about that for a moment. Have you been through a situation or a setback? There are countless uh, U.S. athletes who have been through setbacks, and they train and train hard, and they train rigorously to end up going to the Olympics so that they can win in their event. Some train rigorously and lost and still come back. Four years later, right, to win a crown that is, as it says, a crown that will not last. Or as we look at it, medals, medals that won't last. But our goal is to do it for a crown that will last forever. So in closing, I ask you this. Have you been defeated by something? And if so, are you mounting a comeback? Remember, our prize is eternal. And our God is for us and not against us, right? He's giving us the freedom to enjoy our faith. Amen. Folks, thank you for joining us for this special edition of Cross First News. I want to just say on behalf of all of us here from this creative Christian media organization, I'm M. King. Hey, we'll see you next time. All right. God bless. This is an M. King Media Production.